Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I'm gonna do a pumpkin squash soup. Soup and pumpkins, they just go together in the month of November. I'm all about making food that's according to the season. I'm just a very seasonal person, especially at this time of the year. So let's get right into this video. So for the ingredients, you're gonna need olive oil, vegetable broth, garlic, carrots, butternut squash, sweet onions, cayenne pepper, and adobo. All right, guys, so first things first is I'm gonna start cutting up my butternut squash. I usually try to cut them up into pieces first, and then once they're in pieces, then I'll rip off the skin layer. It's just easier for me to do it this way. You can also use a potato peeler if you want to, to get rid of the skin. There we go, and we have my pieces ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion. All right, so I've cut up my vegetables, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually start putting everything into the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil into the pan. All right, so once I have my olive oil into the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and put my garlic. I literally love garlic, I put it on everything. Add in the onions. So I'm gonna throw in the vegetable broth. All right, so now it's time to put in my carrots and my pumpkins into the pot as well. So once you mix that all in, you're gonna start putting in your seasonings. So putting your adobo and your cayenne pepper. All right, so once the pumpkins and the carrots are soft in the soup, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my blender so that they're able to blend up and you get that like creamy texture that the pumpkin soup actually has. Just be careful because it does get really hot. Just make sure you kind of let it cool down a little bit so you're not like burning yourself. So once I'm done blending it, I just pour it in a separate bowl so I don't mix it with the ones that needs to be blended. Now you blend everything that is left and you are gonna put it in a bowl, mix it all together and you'll have your pumpkin squash soup. If you happen to have some pumpkin seeds like I did, you can go ahead and sprinkle it on the top. So this is the final look of the soup. It looks delicious, smells delicious. I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe and that you make it at home. This would make a great appetizer on Thanksgiving day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can see all the holiday videos I'm gonna be posting this month. Thank you guys again and I hope you guys have a great day. It's so good.